If you've been waiting for NVIDIA to release a lower price graphics card, your day has finally come. The NVIDIA RTX 4070 promises to bring lower prices as well as a little bit lower performance and hopefully a whole lot of value. If you've seen an NVIDIA product in the last few generations, you'll know exactly what to expect when it comes to the 4070. Understated looks with a black on chrome design, two fans on opposite sides of the card, and on the 4070, fitting into a smaller two-slot form factor. We'll be covering partner cards in a separate video, so for now, let's get on with a reference model. But first, a quick look at our test system. We'll be using an Intel Core i9-13900K, which is more than ample for our testing a card in this price bracket, and the 4070 will be running on the latest press driver supplied by NVIDIA. And starting off the benchmarks with 1080p, and we can see that the 4070 is sandwiched in between last generation's Radeon competition. The 4070 Ti is 18% faster than the vanilla 4070, and the card is squarely in between the 3080 Ti and the 3080. All good cards and good company to be in, but not exactly groundbreaking. Moving over to 1440p, and the numbers don't really change all that much, at least not really for the better. The 4070 Ti pulls away slightly and is now 21% faster. The new 4070 is still in between the 6900 XT and the 6800 XT from the last generation, and is also still in between the 3080 Ti and the 3080. 1440p is probably the resolution that's most ideal for this card, but that doesn't mean you can't game with it at 4K. And looking at those results, you can see that the 4070 is starting to approach its limits. 4070 Ti creeps up to being 23% faster than its newer little brother, and the 4070 FE goes from being in between the last generation's high-end cards to being tied or slightly slower than them, with the 1080 Ti being 19% faster, the aging 3080 being 5% faster, and the 6800 XT being tied in performance. And while that doesn't seem all that impressive, the 4070 FE was still good for 73 FPS on average, which is more than playable in pretty much every title. Enabling ray tracing doesn't really change the overall performance differentials between NVIDIA cards, though with RT on, it will be faster than the 6900 XT and 6800 XT in most games. One way the RTX 4070 FE does stand out from the last generation crowd, though, is in energy consumption. The only cards that use less energy than the 4070 are a lot slower, and the ones that are faster use more energy. This leads to a very good performance in terms of watt per frame, only falling behind the big brother of the RTX 4080, the RTX 4090, and actually beating the RTX 4070 Ti. Restricted down to a V-Synced 60Hz though, the RTX 4070 FE is the most efficient card in our testing. This also makes the RTX 4070 a very quiet card, beating all the other NVIDIA reference designs, only losing out to the RX 6900 XT and 6800 XT, and those models have three fans. In the end though, it all comes down to value. And at $600, the RTX 4070 compares pretty well compared to the newer generation of Nvidia and AMD cards. It's basically tied in value with the RX 7900 XT and gives you about 10% more performance per dollar than the RTX 4070 Ti. That value proposition though, sort of falls apart when we start comparing it to last generation's cards. The RX 6900 XT is just as fast or faster than the RTX 4070 pretty much everywhere excluding ray tracing and only costs $20 more. But the biggest blow to the 4070 comes from the RTX 3080 and the RX 6800 XT, both offering very similar performance and sometimes better performance for less money. That means you can choose the RTX 3080, save 40 cents per frame and still get basically the same level of performance. You would lose 2GB of VRAM, which may become more important over time, though you could always choose the RX 6800 XT and you'll get actually 4 extra gigabytes of VRAM with similar FPS in most titles, though you would miss out on DLSS and ray tracing performance. That being said, if you have $600 to spend and you are looking for the best gaming card available, the RTX 4070 FE is probably the best option available to you right now. 
but value seekers should probably look elsewhere. 